Okay, here's the deal. I'm relisting my 1997 supercharged lifted triple locked FJ FZJ80 for sale again. The truck sold twice in the first six hours. One guy said he was coming with cash in hand, no problem. We waited for him, he didn't show. The next day he said the same thing, same thing happened. Another guy sent me a check for 10,000 to hold the truck and the truck is as is. And then decided he needed 30 days to pay me the rest. So I ripped up the check and I'm listing the truck again, but I'm not listing it at 40, I'm listing it at 45 because I've got several offers after I said the truck was sold. And I decided this time I'm going to throw in a brand new carpet for the bottom of the truck, the rear seats, which I wasn't including first all of all, two sets of 488s for the front and for the rear from Yukon Gear and the master install kits, all brand new in the box. Spare actuators for the front, rear, and center lock differential, even though the ones that are in there are new, which is why I have spares. OEM Toyota front burr fields, OEM rear axles, extra drive shaft, extra double garden drive shaft, diamond flanges, uh, auxiliary battery setup for it, your choice of either Odyssey Extreme or Lithium. Doesn't matter, I can hook you up with both of them. Plus a whole bunch of stuff. We're talking things like uh, windshield wash, windshield wiper motor, brand new from Toyota. I got a lot of stuff. So the truck is definitely worth it. And this, this gear is all at my house. So when you pick up the truck, we'll be loading up the truck as well. So the truck is once again for sale. I tried to be cool with this guy, but he just kept bothering me. As is means as is. As is means I'll give you the three inch clamps to repair the tiny exhaust leak yourself. As is means you fix the rear lift gate, not me. You see what I mean? The truck is a score. No rot, no rust, 15,000 miles on a new factory engine and factory head freshly rebuilt supercharger, freshly rebuilt transfer case, which I'll be throwing in an additional transfer case to go with it. A lot of gear, it's definitely worth it. So here's the truck, rjcjr10 at yahoo.com if you are serious, I'm out. Okay, you read the title correctly, I'm selling my truck. 1997 FCJ 80, she's triple locked, supercharged, no rust, no rot, never been in an accident. But before I do that, I have to take care of a giveaway real quick. So welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. I'm Richie and this is Jailbreak. And in this episode, I find myself in the high desert plains of Wyoming once again, driving alone in dirt, dust, incredibly arid land. Now, this was my first time ever. It was in December of 2019, and Cane Creek was really wet. We were driving through rivers, and I had never seen Hamburger Hill at all. And coincidentally, Rory Irish's father is actually the one spotting me through this, and I didn't trust him. My truck's on the edge of a cliff, and he's telling me to drive towards the cliff. It's huge rocks, trees everywhere, and running water. It's an off-roader's dream come true. Just a reminder, this is where I am. This is why I'm making this video. I've been on this road for over a mile and I still have several miles to go and this is what's below and above. It's straight up and straight down. No place to turn around and nobody knows where I am and I have no idea what's coming up in front of me. 
So everybody knows the truck. You've seen it over the years. This thing has taken me absolutely all over the United States of America. And this truck has changed numerous times. The last thing that happened and the first and only time this truck has ever left me unable to move forward is when I blew up the torque converter. And when I say I blew up the torque converter, the torque converter simply failed, disengaged, I pulled over, put it on a flatbed, and got it down to Virginia where my buddy Matt Aylstock, a 20-year Toyota technician, you can see him right there, put a transmission, a brand new 1997 A343F transmission that I managed to find that had 500 original miles on it. It's not rebuilt, it's not remanufactured, it was out of a government vehicle and it had almost zero miles. So Matt put in the new transmission, he put in a remanufactured torque converter and he put in a brand new OEM drive plate. This truck is ostensibly new. At the beginning of 2021, Nichols Auto Fab in Arizona put in a brand new factory short block right out of the box. Now, the truck already had a new OEM head on it, but we still pulled it out and had it redone. We put CX Racing headers on it and rebuilt the supercharger completely, which is fairly easy to do, actually. Now, this truck has 37-inch Nitto mud grapplers, five of them, five black Rhino armory rims, it has custom bar work on the rear. It has a one of roof rack on it. It looks like a Prisnu, but it's not. It's heavier and stronger. It has JDM Japanese vent visors. It has Yoda Tech aluminum gull wings. It has Metal Tech sliders on the side. It has brand new, less than 2,000 mile King 2.5s all the way around, adjustable shocks and Dobinson four inch heavy springs all the way around. Truck has a one inch body lift. Everything on this truck has been upgraded. It's got superior engineering, Hyperflex arms, King stabilizer, three fives tie rod ends. It has a wits end power steering cooler. 16,500 pound winch right there, Factor 55 Ultra. It has steady spotlights. It has onboard air that's all powered from a extreme air magnum mounted in the rear. Depot headlights, Land Cruiser grills, custom grill in the front. Everything on this truck that can be replaced, including every door seal, all the locker actuators have been replaced. It has a HUD Expo skid plate underneath. It has a brand new Tacoma double card and drive shaft that was modified professionally for the front and for the rear. It's a brand new OEM drive shaft. It has brand spanking new land tank lower control arms, slee adjustable upper control arms. The transmission is new, the engine is new, the transfer case was just rebuilt. Every single bearing and roller bearing was replaced. It has a Marx adapter in it for part-time four-wheel drive, and it also has Marlin Crawler low, low gears, the ones that were made by Toyota in Japan. This thing will climb up a wall. This is exactly how it's coming. I mean, I'm going to clean the inside, but I wanted to get this video out. There's no rear seats. There's no third seats. It has a uh, wagon gear tail tailgate storage spot in it. And it comes just the way you're seeing it right now. Just the way you're seeing it. Safari snorkel, Yoda Tech, rigid lights, all on separate switches. I used factory switches for everything. It has a Delta shifting console. It has a Delta armrest locking console in it, which is phenomenal. It has a brand new, everything attached to the motor is brand new. AC pump, everything is brand spanking new, less than a year old. It's going to come exactly as you see it. This truck is an absolute animal. You can climb a wall in it or you can do 80 miles an hour on the highway. Those are custom made seats, two types of Italian leather made by Sorello Performance in California. And yes, they're embroidered. It is what it is. This truck is a piece of history as it stands right now. It's probably one of the most well-known 
80 series Land Cruisers in the United States. I mean, Ronnie Dahl took a picture in front of this thing and couldn't believe it. He's a pretty big guy, too, and he loved this truck, and you will, too. I've taken immaculate care of this thing. Anything squeaks, anything shakes, I square it away right away. I've done the burr fields on this thing four times in six years. The only issues I've ever had with this thing were the exhaust. I had a custom made three inch stainless steel exhaust built for this thing and for some reason he put expansion joints in it. This truck will not do expansion joints. If you remove them, it's all good. It still does have a little bit of an exhaust leak, but you can fix that. I'm sure of it. it. Has a JDM auxiliary fan built into it. It has a brand new mass airflow sensor from Toyota. It has a brand new cooling system from Toyota. It has a fan clutch from Land Tank for a supercharged version. It has a brand new shifter knob, brand new steering wheel. I just started that from a cold start with the remote starter, no problem. So if you know what this truck is, you understand why I'm asking 40 grand firm. I don't want 39,000, I don't want 41,000. 40 grand firm. Everything on this thing is new. There's no rot, there's no rust. The frame's never been damaged. The only issues it needs is the lift gate in the rear needs to be replaced. Even though I've been driving with it for two years, it just doesn't lock anymore. Other than that, she's ready to build. Truck is a, a clean slate all over again. So it comes exactly as you see it, as is. If you're serious, shoot me an e email, rjcjr10 at yahoo.com. Again, the price has gone up to 45000 and that will re that will include... The truck already has brand new year-old 488s in it, installed by Ozark, Ozark Overland Outfitters. But I'm going to give you a second set of Yukon 488s for the front and rear, plus the master rebuild kit, plus an extra transfer case, plus front and rear axles from Toyota OEM that are in mint condition, plus a dual battery setup, whichever one you want, either the Red Arc or the Victron version. I've got them both. It doesn't matter. I've got so many spares for this truck. It's absolutely ridiculous. Back seat, the factory rug, everything. So 45,000 RJC JR10 at yahoo.com. Serious only. At any rate, I'm out.